Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome back to Little Country Heaven. This is the long-awaited tour of our country cottage loft. The very first video tour of our home, which was published about five months ago, has now reached over 100,000 views and we are just so beyond excited about it. Thank you to our viewers for giving us that kind of exposure. One of the things that we learned in that video is that some people don't want an explanation of the objects and the rooms themselves. They just want to see them. So we heard you and the very first tour that you're going to see today is going to be a silent tour where I won't explain anything. And in the second version of the tour, I'll go through the different items, where I got them, what they mean to us, and you'll get to learn a lot about us, the house, and our story here. We of course recommend that you watch the entire video, but if you are short in time or don't wish to hear the explanation, you can just watch the silent tour. Right below here in the progress bar where you see what minute your video is on, you can see the little chapters. I'm going to mark them so that you know where to skip to. Whether you choose to watch the silent tour, the spoken tour, or both, I think you would benefit from understanding where the loft is sitting on the house itself, sort of the layout of the loft and why we call it a loft. So I'm going to be showing you today where the loft sits on our house and also pictures of what it used to look like when we first bought the house. Sitting on about one acre of land, our home is 2,600 square feet. 600 square feet of that is the loft itself. As you can see, our house is a T-shape and the loft is only on top of the bedrooms as you see in that corner right there. When we first bought the house, the loft was all carpeted, so we changed that when we moved in. Also, the trims didn't match and the wall colors didn't match either, so you can see here some of the transformation shots of before and afters. And now for the silent tour.
So we're gonna start here at the bottom of the stairs as we go up to the loft. And here we have a little um, hallway table. That's where our thermostat is and we have that beautiful mirror that kind of um, emulates the palladium windows we have in the house. So that's why I got that one. A little lamp and a picture of Jose and I on our wedding day. And here are the steps to go up to the loft. This door here to your left is the door to the sunroom. And we're going upstairs. So here for our stairway decor, we have some pictures of us together as a family. Here's a picture of Lupita and Gizmo. Gizmo is the little cat that we lost. Jose at um, the quarry in Knoxville where we live nearby. We live near Knoxville. Um, it's a really fun place. That's what, that was one of our first dates. And having pizza. That's Jose and I and his parents. Um, his dad's name is Jose and his mom's name is Daisy. And Here's a picture of one of the first few birthdays we celebrated together of mine and a picture of my parents, my stepdad, my mom, and us. And here I have this little sign here that says together is my favorite place to be, which I thought it was perfect because um, there are pictures of us there together. So you continue going up the stairs here and you see this beautiful palladium window you have here at the landing. Um, and I have a little plant there at the landing. I haven't put a rug here because I feel like it could be dangerous. So it's winter right now, so you can't um, see the forest green outside, but it's usually just so pretty. Um, this plant is very inexpensive. I found it at Walmart, actually. I've never found that again. It was like this, like a one, once in a lifetime thing. I love these light fixtures, which are very farmhouse cottage that kind of emulate like an old candle with a reflective surface in the back the way they used to do it. A little wreath there on top of the palladium window. Same deal on this side. And here at the landing we have some pictures of our family. That's Jose and I on our wedding day. And this is our immediate family. Um, this is Jose, Jose's dad. His name is also Jose. Daisy is mom. My brother-in-law, Jose's brother, Omar. We have, that's me, Jose. Jose's other brother, Joel. My mom and my stepdad. So here we have that beautiful place where we had our wedding. Maybe I can tell you about it another day. It's a really beautiful um, country house where we had the wedding and it was just so pretty. Okay, and this is the view outside and we have to get rid of that um, branch. Um, and right there, that is the sunroom. Okay, so here we are now turning into the loft. And the first thing you see in that little nook there is our office, which I will go into detail in a moment. But I'm gonna first focus here on the right. So this is our music space. Let me first kind of back up and give you like the ground view first and then I'll go into detail. Again, we have those palladium windows, so they're round on top. It was quite the feat to get these um, um, treatments, the window treatments done. I, I didn't really know quite what to do because you can't put a normal rod there because then you have part of the window exposed on top. So I put the rod in the smallest point and then I draped it on the side so that it would cover the curve of the window. And I think it turned out very pretty because I didn't want to lose the idea of the palladium window but I by covering it completely, but I did want to have like a little window treatment there. We've worked really hard on this space, you guys. Um, it's important to us because we're musicians, we're music teachers and also musicians. So this space was really important to us. This is the um, bookshelf that we just um, upcycled from Facebook Marketplace. I can definitely uh, put a card somewhere here in the video if you wanna check out our little adventure as we found and um, kind of renovated and upcycled this, this shelf, okay? So let me start on this side here. So we have um, 
this beautiful shelf. And in here we have some wedding mementos and um, the covers for some of our diplomas um, and some books. We have a lot of books on um, music methods and teaching methods and things like that. And so far we're loving the shelf. Um, so please check that video out if you're interested. Here we have some pictures of us. This is Jose and I playing um, at a friend's wedding. And I love that picture of us. Um, and um, like I told you in a previous video, I did start violin when I was already an adult. Um, and it's a very inspiring study story. So if you wanna hear more about it, um, let us know. Here's me conducting um, the children orchestra I conducted before moving from Puerto Rico to Tennessee. And I will explain in a second why we moved. <laughs> this is part of um, seeing the loft. There's just so much of the loft that is about our story. So you're gonna get to learn a lot about us. And this was me over at one of Jose's kids' concerts and I would go over and help out. And he has an African percussion um, ensemble. So those are the drums there. And that was like a little parting gift that we had from when I finished my master's degree at the University of Tennessee, okay? So now in this area over here, we have our little piano set up. Let me back up so you can see it. And then we have the bench. We would have loved to have a real piano, but at this time that's not possible. Getting it up here is really hard because of the stairs, so um, we thought this was best. And I love putting lamps anywhere. It makes um, for such a cozy feel. And here, let me show you the pictures that we have. This is me in my recital for my bachelor's degree in violin playing. And that's the beautiful um, concert hall at the Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico. And this is Jose playing his classical guitar because he has a degree in classical guitar. And also Jose playing guitar here. <laughs> this was when we first started dating and I went to see him in one of his concerts uh, where he was playing with his students. He was playing along with them. So here we have our diplomas, which you know provide a lot of inspiration. Jose and I have worked really hard. I was in college since I was 16 years old. Jose also uh, has been in college for um, most of his life and together we have five degrees. So um, here's my diploma for my master's degree in master's of music, um, violin performance, and um, I received a scholarship. I won a scholarship to come here um, and do a master's degree. And you know, when people say they'll, they'll pay for your master's degree, um, you, just, you just gotta go, because it's a great opportunity. These are our diplomas. Jose's diploma from the conservatory, both for his master's and his um, bachelor's degree in music education. And here are my diplomas also from the conservatory in violin. And the one here at the bottom is my first um, graduate, um, my first bachelor's degree, which is actually in French. I speak three languages and I also teach foreign language besides music. So if you wanna know more about my very interesting story, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. On this side here, we have a beautiful Thomas Kincaid um, painting. Believe it or not, we found these at TJ Maxx and we just couldn't believe that we had found these beauties. And this particular one is called Open Gate by Thomas Kincaid. And I love Thomas Kincaid pictures. Let me know if you have any in the comments below. Um, they usually depict cottages and kind of like country life and it's just so sweet. So let me, um, I made these curtains and I also made these um, little tie backs. As you can see, they have like a little pattern in green. We love green around here. And this is the big, beautiful palladium window. That basically is the size of the wall, you guys. This house really, um, when they were building and they really outdid themselves with the windows, it's really quite special. So there you can see how I put the, um, the treatments together. And so let me, make you a little peek here at what you can see from out the window. You can see our property from here and the fence and this big beautiful tree. Those are the big pine trees that we have in the back that look so pretty with snow. Um, if you've seen some of the videos where we show the cottage with snow. A lot of cottages have um, kind of attic or loft rooms that kind of look like this with the pitched um, ceiling. So definitely something that we love about our little cottage. This sofa, you guys, I found in Walmart um, a year and a half ago. 
Um, I can only tell you I just love the color and I also love the velvet texture. It is a little more contemporary, more modern, and that's because up here in the loft we do have a lot of technology, so it would have been really hard to do it all super vintage like the lower um, story of our home, the first uh, floor of our home. But I really do just love this couch and it's just so comfortable. And when we're up here, the girls, um, our dogs, Lupita and Gia, love hanging out here. And here we have some pillows and a throw I got at TJ Maxx as well. And here in this corner, we have um, a picture of Jose that his parents sent us um, a little while ago. They had it framed. <laughs> so this is back in the 90s. Jose was in his teens and he had a picture holding a sword, you guys, you know. You, you do you, you got you do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> I do love that picture though. I think he looks very handsome. Okay, so this little nook here, and there's lots of little nooks up here in the loft. Um, here you have um, a guitar stand that Jose built himself. We did this together. He got the, um, the planks, the wood to make it. He stained it himself. He made the little spaces for the guitars to go. And just to show you up close here, we made like little um, faux leather inserts there so the guitars wouldn't, you know, scratch when we put it in. And those are Jose's beloved guitars. He has an electric one and two ac um, acoustic ones. And it also has that leather um, cushioning at the bottom, the faux leather cushioning so that it wouldn't scratch. And you're probably wondering, what is this crazy looking instrument, <laughs> this um, different looking guitar? It's not a guitar, it's actually a cuatro. And it's an instrument, a string instrument that is very um, much uh, from Puerto Rico. It's our like our national instrument. And it has, it sounds like a, it has sort of a mandolin sound because the strings are very high pitched. Um, so if you wanna hear Jose play some cuatro music, let us know as well. Um, it's a very beautiful instrument that's very much part of our Puerto Rican identity. So here we have our little music stand and we have here some music that I have been looking at. And on this table here, we have some more pictures. Let me show you this wall. Here we have a map and this map is from Hobby Lobby. Jose always wanted a map. So we made sure to, to put that in there. And so this picture is from the aquarium and um, Gatlinburg is a very fun place. You might wanna check that out. That's a picture of Jose when he got his electric guitar from a few Christmases ago. And Jose teaching the little ones in elementary school. There he is. And this is a little iPad we use like, to read music. A little salt lamp for ambience up here. And he, there he has his foot pedestal for when he's playing. You gotta put your foot up when you're playing guitar and his amplifier. Now this rug I've gotten some questions about and this is from Wayfair, you guys. Um, so on Wayfair, they do have lots of um, little motifs like this. And I did want something more colorful for up here. Um, so this definitely is a place where color is welcome. Okay. Now this little um, chair here, club chair, I absolutely love. This is from uh, TJ Maxx also, and so is the cushion. And I believe uh, this is from Home Goods, little throw. It's very comfortable and it works like a little little living room, little music living room here to hang and play. The little office space. I've been working on this office space um, and I think it's looking so cute. Let me show you. So um, here we have our computer, our filing system. We have our printer and I just love that little lamp that I found that fits just perfect in the little nook and it's very convenient because it doesn't take away any of the hallway space here to go into the other wing of the loft. And let me show you what we have down here. So here we have a little set of curtains that I put up with like a tension rod that kind of hides the stuff that's in there to make it look more clean. And if you want a tutorial on how I made these curtains, I'll put a card for it up here somewhere in the, um, in the frame. You can just click on it later to see it. And I teach you how to make these simple curtains, the rod pocket kind of curtains. And that's how I made these to kind of show and streamline, not show and kind of streamline this area here. Um, this is a picture of us when we went to Nashville 
there was a store where you had all kinds of boots and hats and I was going crazy because I love hats I'm like oh my god this is amazing and here we have the laptop and the little lamp and this cute little um, greenery arrangement and a picture of us again at that concert where I went to help him with his students who were doing his little their little um, semester concert okay all righty so now I'm gonna this is the stair one more time when you go up right this is how you came in and this is the bedroom wing which is the third bedroom of the house and again it's a very cottage thing to have in like an attic or loft and um, pitch ceiling uh, bedroom so we're very excited about having this little cute space and let me zoom kind of pan around so you get a feel for it okay so if you're wondering what this little door is okay this door goes into the attic so like to get into um, the attic to fix anything it would be through that door. I have never gone through that door, nor will I ever, let me tell you. It's hot, it's scary. My husband said he found some snake skins ones and I just, not not gonna do it, guys. This little bathroom, and none of these doors matched color, you guys, when we first bought the house. Um, we had that cute little <laughs> knob. I just thought it would be cute to leave it. So we made sure to paint all the doors and trims the same color. It's um, the color is called Granite Boulder. Granite Boulder. So when you open the door, you have this cute little bathroom here. Let me show you what it has. It has a shower, and on this wall it has a mirror, and you have like your commode or your toilet. And this, guys, is gonna be a really interesting project because I will be doing like a makeover of this bathroom and I'm wondering if you would like to see it. I'm pretty sure you will be able to. I already have some ideas to make this a really special little bathroom here for our guests when they come stay. So hopefully we can show you that very soon. So here on this side, we have another Thomas Kincaid painting. And this one is called the um, Everett's Cottage. Look how beautiful that painting is. And you know, we love cottages because we're in a cottage ourselves. So <laughs> it's a kind of a theme that we have going here with our artwork. We have lots of little cottages. And here's our beautiful third bedroom, you guys. We filmed an entire video of how we transformed this space. I will put a card for it up here somewhere. So if you're interested in looking at how we transformed this space, you wanna definitely check that out. So let me show you here um, the little painting. I love this painting. I found it on eBay. I just thought it was so cute with the little house and the little trees and kind of like a country scene, just like the one we're in. And here we have this beautiful, um, weave basket where we have that blanket all in very neutral colors and um, in the downstairs we do have um, more varied colors in the bedrooms but here I wanted to keep things pretty neutral because again it's a big open space and I just wanted to keep things as neutral and flowing as possible. So here on this side we have a round mirror it is from Hobby Lobby and so is the lamp. I just love this brushed gold um, idea. I think it's a way to bring gold in a very non um, intimidating way. And here the, the dresser in very um, neutral tones as well. As you can see, like the little knobs are like brass and it's just so pretty. I feel like any room needs a clock, so there you go. And I thought that little box here would be like a good idea for our guests to put their jewelry or whatever, like their watch or something they wanted to keep at night. And so if you peek here, then you can see like the um, the wing up there for the uh, the music space. Here we have this beautiful woven rug. This is from um, TJ Maxx, I believe. And it was quite, uh, for those of you who haven't seen the transformation of the, uh, the loft bedroom, um, the reason we went with a day bed here, one, it's very country cottage, little day beds. Also, 
um, as you can see, the space was too narrow to have a bed in the middle, okay? So then instead of fighting it, we leaned into it and we put it here on the side. That way you have this rest of the space here to walk around. And there is another mattress here at the bottom. So if there were enough people that we had to do that, we could bring that out. It would come up to like there and then they could sleep, okay? And then we could probably take the chair out. This is a little closet. Here we have the dressing like for their clothes. And yeah, we just love this little cove here. We installed these um, wall um, night lights again, because you have little space so you couldn't do a night table, but you do need lighting in any bedroom. So we went ahead and added those. Um, they kind of worked like little, little bed lights. You're wondering what these window treat, what these wall treatments are here. Those are to hide the vent that you see <laughs> behind it. And so far it's been working great. We had to kind of mask it without um, blocking it completely. So we were sure to do it in a way that still worked. And here it is again, because you also have another vent, if you can see it there, kind of hiding behind. Here's a chair um, that we have here in the bedroom. I feel like every bedroom should have like a sitting spot where people can get dressed and put their shoes on. Look at this cute little, um, bunny pillow that I found that is from TJ Maxx and so here I'm like on the other side where you don't have this added veil we did add this little veil of like translucent curtains here just to add privacy for whoever is staying here it still has the the other curtains the other side has but it has like a little curtain there we didn't want to block the light completely either because obviously in the loft you do get less light so it's hard to to um, do without so we still wanted light inside this beautiful um, throw here is super comfy and soft it's like a quilted throw and it's from Portugal I found it at home goods and I love that intricate um, tapestry kind of pillow you have there to bring the pop of gold that you have in the lamp this rug is from TJ Maxx and I think it works really well here because um, it, the lines kind of draw your eye to make the space look wider than it is, even though um, it is not. And it's a really sweet space where someone can come up here, read and stay for a few days and um, enjoy their stay very much. <laughs>